If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use code IHAS for 5% off at checkout. There is also a new pack feature on the site, so make sure to try that out. Hey guys, Icecat here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Team of the Year. Will there be a market crash? What is actually going to happen? So if you didn't see my video yesterday, I did a video about the release dates for Team of the Year. If you did not know, make sure to check that out. But basically, the team of the year will go live from January the 9th. So next up is the big question. Will players' prices go down? So there's yes and a no part. So I'll talk about what players' prices will go down. First of all, big, big players, like the high-rated players. So like, say we take Messi and Ronaldo for an example. They will go down a bit, but they won't actually go down too much. So right now, Messi, he's about 800k. I can see him going down to maybe 750k, but that would be it because basically he'll be in packs during Team of the Year, so he, he won't be able to get his normal card. But I reckon he will go down a little bit. A Team of the Group Stage card will go down a bit. But the plays which you're going to lose the most coins on are the sort of lower rated expensive players. So Dybala, for an example, he will go down quite a lot because he's 85 rated. He gets packed quite a bit, and it's not as if he's going to be used in team of the year it's not as if you're using him for squad builder challenges so i can see the likes of Dybala like going down in price also players like abamyang will go down in price because again he isn't actually a walkout but he's like a he's quite high rated but an, he's like an over expensive play if you understand what i mean he could go down and another player the sweaty player in everybody's squad martial i can see him going down a bit in price now right now he's 30k he can probably go down to around 20,000 coins I'm not too sure so the question is should you sell your team to be honest you don't have to i recommend if you have if you're like i have a mad club and like really big players say if you have a, like a Dybala and a Bamiyang a Royce cards like that sell them on i recommend because they will go down a bit in price however if you have 83 or 84 rated players keep hold of them just because you know right now the squad builder challenges which require them and i reckon ea are going to do this during team of the year I'm not too sure what they'll do, but they will do a squad builder challenge or some squad builder challenges during team of the year. Sort of like the team of the week guarantee one. It might, it put, I doubt they'll do like a team of the year guarantee one, but I can see them doing challenges like this where you require like 84 rated. So it will use 84 rated players, 83 rated players and keep their prices high. Because right now an 84 rated card goes for 6k and an 83 rated card goes for 3k. During team of the year, they might drop, but... As soon as they drop, I'll have a video near the time, pick them up because they will rise back up in price anyway, just because the squad builder challenge. So then the likes of cheaper players than those cards, just the normal rare cards, I recommend just keeping them because again, like this one, 81 plus double guarantee, it requires gold rare cards. They're not really going to go down too much. I guess the cards, say you have like a Butland, he'll cost you like a, a little bit over a thousand coins. He might go down a little bit, but you're not making much of a loss. The main cards you should sell are just the big expensive cards. The likes of your Daibala, your Aubameyang, players like that, maybe like a Griezmann as well. Just because they're the big cards, they will go down a bit because they're not used to the squad builder challenge. So now the next question is informed cards and special cards. So most of my team is actually untradeables anyway, as you can see. If I would do anything to this team, you could sell like the Kante on because he's worth a bit and the Gundogan because they might go down a bit. But the rest of this team, I'd probably keep how it is, to be honest. And if you're playing Fat Champs and stuff, you just keep your team if you want to play with it. You don't really want to be playing with like a 5k team. But if I pick players in the squad to sell, I'd maybe sell the Kante, Gundogan, maybe Martial and Fernandinho because he goes for a little bit, as you can see. So inform cards, what will happen to them? If you have a discard inform, keep it because it's 10,000 coins. His price, isn't it can't go down anyway, and it will only really go up. And if you're thinking about the older inform cards, to be honest, I don't see them changing too much. They will go down a little bit, I reckon. But to be honest, since they're not in packs anymore, they their price won't really change too much. If we just take a look at the latest team of the week, or like the old one, like Aspel Equator card, he's going for around 100,000 coins. I don't, he might drop to like 90k. I know some cards were listed at 90k, but people won't be selling him too much. It'll just be like the panic crash before, which will make the prices go down. But as soon as Team of the Year hits, they'll probably go back up. The one thing is, if you have an inform card 
who might be getting a team of the year, I recommend selling that card just because people would rather have the team of the year card over the inform. So then that inform would get sold off. So say if you had like an inform Ronaldo, like I, I guess the striker Ronaldo card, unless his team of the year card is striker, won't change too much. It might go down a bit, but this is more like the high budget trading to be honest. But yeah, overall, there will be a bit of a market crash. However, 84 and 83 rated players will keep their value. The cheaper cards can't really change too much. It's more targeted at the more expensive players, which are sort of overpriced a bit. So the likes of a Bamiyang, Dybala, maybe like a De Gea card. I guess the walkouts will go down a bit in price because lots more people are opening packs. But sell on your big, big players. If you have a cheap team, I recommend just keeping with it. And 83 and 84 rated players, don't sell. Keep hold of them. Informs, cheap informs keep. More expensive informs, you can sell on just in case. However, the prices, I'm not too sure how much they will change. They will drop, but maybe not too much. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have some more videos nearer the time of Team of the Year because I reckon I'll have some squad builder challenges there. There's a big time to do some investing if prices do drop a bit, but they will go back up anyway. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll try and have another video up later today. And if not, Happy New Year already. Last day of 2016, the support has been mad. We're nearly at 45,000 subscribers already, which is just insane. So thank you guys again for that. I'll see you on my next video.